coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good evening on another stormy evening here in the Wabash Valley. A look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker shows it's pretty busy. We have a lot of showers and thunderstorms out there moving through the heart of the valley right now. And we have one active severe thunderstorm warning. That's for those of you down here in southeastern Crawford County. This is now to the east of Flat Rock. The core of the thunderstorm is on the far eastern side of the county getting ready to cross the Wabash River. This warning in effect until 530 central time, so for about another 10 minutes. Now there could also be some small hail across the state line over here into southern Sullivan County around Carlisle. This was warned for hail as large as quarters, but we haven't got any reports of that. But some small hail definitely possible. We've seen reports of pea to dime sized hail in several communities across the Wabash Valley already this afternoon. And in addition to hail and lightning, there's also very heavy rain because these thunderstorms are only moving at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we've already picked up about a quarter of an inch of rain in Terre Haute and it just started raining around the top of the hour. Now, as we look farther to the west, we still have more scattered showers and thunderstorms from Louisville up towards the Effingham and Dietrich areas over towards Newton, just to the north of Newton and then up here into the northeastern part of Jasper County, northwestern part of Crawford County and then right along southern Clark County, just pretty close to moonshine. Another stronger storm there, but these are not warned. Again, that only warning is down in Crawford County. Now zooming over here to Vigo County, you can see the thunderstorm moving through Terre Haute right now against very heavy rain falling downtown, thunder and lightning, but no warnings in effect for that. And then farther to the north, we also have some scattered showers and thunder showers up here into Park County around Rockville and just to the southeast, a little bit more of some lightning being detected there. There have been several warnings already today farther to the west, but as we look at the storm tracker over the last few hours, you can see the storms bubbled up during the heat of the day, and now they've organized into more of a line. So as we go through the rest of the evening, as this becomes more widespread, the thunderstorms will lose some of their punch because they'll be feeding off of each other. So still some heavy rain, thunder and lightning definitely possible, and maybe some gusty wind. But notice on the back side of this, there's still some more development that we're watching. The cold front hasn't moved through the valley. That's what's bringing all the fuel for these thunderstorms. But since we've had this main line develop this afternoon, that's used up a lot of the energy in the atmosphere. So while showers and thunderstorms going to remain in the forecast for the next few hours, the severe threat's pretty much going to come to an end once you get through this main line that's working through now. And you can tell that by looking at our severe thunderstorm watch. The National Weather Service has already trimmed that down for Coles in Edgar County, but it continues for areas shaded in pink until 9 o'clock Eastern time. So that's right through the heart of the Wabash Valley right now. Not in effect if you're down here to the southeast. We'll continue to monitor that as those storms continue to slowly work the way to the east. So here's a look at future cast as we go through the rest of the evening. Again, you can see these showers and storms going to be pushing through. By 9 o'clock, still seeing some lingering rain showers. By the time we get towards midnight, we'll start to see a lot of this activity wind down. And then once the cold front comes through, the sky will clear pretty quickly behind it. And what's also going to come in with that cold front is some cooler air. We'll finally see our stretch of summer-like weather come to an end, at least for a couple days. As we get into your Monday, expecting plenty of sunshine to start the day. Wind coming out of the northwest, a nice breeze. A great day to open up the windows and let in some fresh air if you've had your air conditioning on. We'll keep the sunshine around over the course of the entire day. Monday night, still staying clear. And that'll take us right into Tuesday, expecting more in the way of sunshine. So for tonight, showers and storms, then clearing and breezy. Wind will pick up, gusting at times 20 miles per hour, an overnight low of 56. And then for tomorrow, 78 degrees, mostly sunny, more of a spring-like day, still remaining breezy though. Then tomorrow night, another cool night will drop down to 54 under a mostly clear sky. And the seven-day forecast shows once we get through tonight, a couple dry days, nice little taste of some spring-like weather, and then showers and storms return on Wednesday and a daily chance until we get to next weekend.